Okay, so I get a lot of questions from people being like, you know, I did eat this type of way over the holidays, I did eat this type of way over a vacation, or, you know, I've been eating a lot or eating a lot of foods that I'm not used to eating, and so I just like don't feel very good, I do wanna like get back into a routine, but I feel like that's diety, and I feel like I'm not allowed to do that. It's so normal to want to come home and like get back in a healthy routine, get back in a routine that feels really good for you, eat the foods that you normally eat that nourish your body and, you know, help energize you, and there's a way to do it without the black and white thinking or the all or nothing mentality of dieting. Basically, the problem is the mentality. So if you have a disordered relationship with food or a disordered history of dieting, then you may struggle with, okay, so I came back from a vacation and all I wanna do is kind of like get back, get back to it, get back to whatever the routine was, the healthy routine. A routine does not mean that you have to be perfect. A routine is not perfect. A routine is little self-care things, whether it's grocery shopping or cooking in advance for yourself or going back to your regular like workouts or whatever you're doing for movement or even just getting to bed at a regular time or you know, cutting back on the drinks because you probably drank a lot over the holidays if you're of age. So it's just about giving yourself permission to get in a routine that feels good for you without shame, without guilt, without feeling like you have to overhaul your entire life and without feeling like it has to be this perfect rigid, like I have to eat only vegetables every single day for however long in order to whatever, make up for my sins of the holidays. And that's really tricky for a lot of you. I know that. I know it's tricky to break out of that black and white mindset. I know it's tricky and it feels like not enough as I hear from this from clients all the time. And I've been hearing it a lot this week, which inspired this video, but that's not enough. It's not good enough. I need to be doing everything. Otherwise I'm doing nothing. Well, guess what? One, that is your diet mindset. That's your disordered eating mentality, okay? So we need to stop giving power to that voice. And two, <laughs> there's no such thing as doing everything. It doesn't exist. You're never gonna get there. You're literally setting the bar so high for yourself that you're consistently gonna fail. Now, part of the problem is that a lot of us are so used to not meeting our own expectations that that failure is like normalized. We're actually comfortable in that failure. So even though we want to be less black and white and you know welcome in the gray areas, welcome in the subtleties of everything, it's very hard to because it feels like a cop out. You know, it feels like not good enough. No, <laughs> you're allowed to have cop outs. If if lowering your standards for what like a healthy self care routine is for you feels like a cop-out, then hell yeah, we love cop-outs. Like make life easy for yourself. You're the only one putting yourself under so much pressure and shame and guilt. You're the only one doing it. Like no one else is doing that to you. So just remember that you get to decide whether or not you wanna keep shaming yourself. You get to decide if you are gonna like go all in after the holidays and like try to take over your life or if you're just gonna get back into a routine that feels good and like also eat some french fries and like whatever you know it doesn't have to be this complicated so remember that it is up to you to make things easier on yourself and you get to decide what that looks like like i don't get to tell you what that looks like you get to decide that's the best part of food freedom is like it doesn't matter what I say. <laughs> it matters what you believe and you want to do. So let me know in the comments what you think your sort of routine, self-care routine looks and feels like and how you navigate like getting rid of that shame if that inner critic comes in and says you're not doing enough. Thank you, inner critic. We appreciate what you're trying to do, but no thanks. You're not, you're not welcome here.